let's go now to the web server demo before uh, showing you the, the the video prepared by our colleagues thomas in prague uh, this is the setup that is needed if you want to run it on your site as well. You need your Nucleo connected to a router with an Ethernet cable. That's OK. You need also another device connected via Ethernet cable to another router. Uh, or via Wi-Fi if your router, if your router is also an access point. Uh, there is also an ST-Link connection, so a USB cable between uh, the two, between the, not the notebook and the Nucleo. This is absolutely not related to the, uh, to the, to the Ethernet and uh, not related to the TCP IP. This is only used uh, to, um, to flash the board and to use the virtual COM port, let's say, to simply open an hyper terminal and see what's happening on the, um, on the, on the virtual COM port. So, oh, um, so in this chart you can say you can see what I told you before. So after the, the let's begin message, and before the web server is able to being able to open the door to open the AT port, you need something in the middle, and this this something is a callback that fire when the DHCP server reply to the inner DHP client. So the client requests an IP address, <clears throat> and after four messages, the server will reply with um, an IP address. Uh, for, to run the demo, <clears throat> it's, it's important to use the slash index.html. Don't forget to use it because the demo is not uh, taking care about redirection from slash to slash index.html. So it's not able the demo to understand that if you are not requesting anything, you are requesting the index.html. Uh, the output of the demo is a, a page like this. So you have an HTML, index.html, including some text, but also a couple of pictures, one for the Nucleo and one for the ecosystem. Um, as I told you before, uh, the web server is not including implementing the, the file X, but all of the content of this slide, of this page, is uh, included in a bare metal way. So the, the, the HTML is uh, transformed into a binary file, let's say, and the binary file is directly written inside the flash of the microcontroller. Now I'm going to move to the uh, to the demo. It takes a few minutes. Let me show you. Enable the audio. Come back. Please write me on chat if you are able to um, to to hear the, the the audio. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for your attention and to my fellow colleague for his time letting me slip into his presentation. My name is Thomas Dressler, and today I'll show you the demo of a web server based on NetX Duo from Microsoft. The project and source code are in the training package. So you can recreate the demo or update it to your taste any time later. To run the demo, we need some prerequisites like a couple of Ethernet cables and the USB one, a router with a DHCP capability to give us some IP addresses, a PC with firewall that allows us to the local network. Okay, let's connect the cables to our Nucleo H723 board and begin loading our project. I'll start with STM32 Cube IDE loading the demo project. You can find it as a project with source code attached to the presentation materials. Please double click on the .project file within the demo directory. Alternatively, use file, open projects from file system, 
choose the directory with the demo files and uh, finish importing the project into the workspace. Now we will build the project by clicking on the hammer button and uh, wait a little bit for the compiled result. It will take some time, so we'll fast forward here. Okay, our demo compilation is complete and it finished with no errors uh, nor warnings. So now it's time for loading our project into the board. So you can click on the debug button. Alternatively, if there is no configuration available, you can uh, click uh, on debug S and open STM32 Cortex MC C++ application. This will create new debugging profile and allows you to load the code. So once the make uh, command is uh, finished again, it will load the newly created application into the memory of the microcontroller. And uh, if it asks you whether to switch to the debugging uh, perspective, you can confirm yes and uh, let the compiler do this job. So we can see that our project is successfully loaded and uh, the microcontroller stopped at uh, the beginning of our main routine. So let it run and see what happens. To continue, we'll need a hyper terminal that uh, will capture the moments of our application starting. So I will restart my project by resetting the processor and continuing and you'll notice on the screen of the hyper terminal that uh, the router with the dhcp service has offered us an ip address that we accepted so let's remember this ip address and uh, use it in a browser to observe the web page let's open our favorite browser and type the web address followed by the name of the web page we want to see like uh, 192.168.1.102 slash index.html. At this point, the Nucleo H723 has provided to us several objects, the web page itself and three different pictures, the header, the picture of the Nucleo, and uh, the picture of the STM32 cube ecosystem together with Azure Artos. The response is very quick. To be able to recreate the project on your own, I have prepared together with the follow-up slides uh, that follow after the presentation itself, the cheat sheet that's swell presented by this web server. So if you click on this link, the cheat sheet will show up and uh, depending on the chapter and uh, the file needing to be updated, it gives you several different uh, source codes that uh, can be copied to the clipboard and paste it on the appropriate place in your source file. You can always find where to put it in the section where at the beginning of the page. The cheat sheet dynamically changes the condition. It doesn't reload from the server, so everything's within one single page and it's conveniently available. Okay, at this point, I'd like to thank you for your attention. And now I'll pass the word back to my colleague who will follow the presentation.